Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download the Linux Mint ISO file and install it using VirtualBox on your Windows 11 operating system. So let's get started. So let's start with the ISO file download of uh, Linux Mint. So just go to your favorite browser and search for Linux Mint. And the first link which will appear here will be from linuxmint.com. So we are going to click on this link. And straight away you will see this download button here also you can see the download link at the top so here you can hover over the download and then click on the latest version so we are going to click on this download button here so once you are on the download page you have three variants of linux mint you can download one is the cinnamon edition which looks like this other is the mate edition which looks like this and then third one is the xfce edition which looks like this we are going to download and install the cinnamon edition so just click on this button which says uh, download under cinnamon edition and then when you scroll down a little you will see the download mirrors so the first one here is the world mirror I will recommend you to choose the mirror which is near to your location. So if you live in USA, just choose from one of these options. So I'm going to uh, choose the first option which is the world option for simplicity. But I will recommend you to download the ISO file from the nearest location from your location so you can see it's around 2.8 gb file so it will take some time to download once this file is downloaded i have already downloaded this file so let me cancel this so once the file is downloaded it's going to look like this linux mint and then the version then cinnamon hyphen 64 bit dot iso file so once you have this iso file we are ready to install it on our virtual box so just open your virtual box and we are going to create a new virtual machine. So click on new button here and then just write uh, Linux Mint here and uh, Linux Mint is not available in the versions here. So you can see when you type Linux Mint, you have the type selected Linux automatically and automatically the version which is selected is Ubuntu 64 bit. The reason for that is the Linux Mint option is not available here. So you can see the Ubuntu option and uh, the other options here you can see but there is no Linux Mint option. So that's why we are going to choose the nearest uh, uh, version which is Ubuntu 64 bit and then click on next here. Now here you can choose the hardware right. So generally what I do is you can see there is this green mark here and then there is this red mark here. So I move it where the green mark ends and the red mark starts. Base memory I can allocate here this much amount of memory and then the processors I can allocate four processors for this one. Now you have this enable EFI special OSS only. For now we are going to uh, not going to uh, enable this but uh, you can enable this for uh, for example for windows operating system so i'm going to click on next so here you can choose the virtual hard disk size so depending on how much amount of hard disk available on your host machine in my case the host machine is windows right so i can easily allocate 100 gb because i have one terabyte of space available on my windows operating system so i will just move it around 100 GB but it totally depends on how much memory you have. So you can choose that here and then you have the pre-allocate full size here. 
I generally don't like to uh, check this checkbox. I want my memory to be dynamically allocated and I don't want to pre-allocate the full size. So just leave it as unchecked and then click on next. Here you can uh, see the summary what you have chosen. So our type or version is Ubuntu 64 bit. Base memory is this one, processor 4 and then disk size is around 100 GB in my case and then click on finish here. Once you click on finish, your virtual machine is created. Now click on Linux Mint here and then go to the settings. We can uh, just uh, do some more settings in this settings window for your virtual machine. In general section, you have these four tabs here. Go to the advanced tab and then click on shared clipboard. Here you can just choose bi-directional for shared clipboard and drag and drop. So this is going to uh, allow you to copy from your Windows operating system to your Linux Mint operating system and vice versa, right? So this is for the shared clipboard and you can also drag and drop files from uh, host to your Linux Mint virtual machine. So just choose these two uh, options as bi-directional. You have system. So here I have already chosen my memory and processors, but if, if you haven't chosen yours, you have the option to choose it now. So now I'm going to move it to display. I will leave everything as default here. In the storage, you have the option to provide the ISO file. So if you remember, we have downloaded this Linux Mint ISO file. So you can click on this empty option here under controller and then click on this disk icon and then click on the choose a disk file. So I'm going to click on choose a disk file and then I'm going to just copy the path where my Linux Mint ISO file is located and then paste it here and then select my ISO file for Linux Mint and then click on open, which is going to just set this ISO file for my virtual machine. So you can see this ISO file is set here. So now I can click on OK. And once all the settings are done, I can start my virtual machine. So click on start here. So now you can see uh, the Linux Mint installation has been started. So here you have a few options, right? The first option is start Linux Mint Cinnamon 64-bit. You have uh, the compatibility mode, you have the OEM install and then test memory mode. So we are going to choose the first option which is Linux Mint, uh, the version Cinnamon 64-bit. Just press enter here. If you are on some other uh, version you can use your down or up arrow keys to move up or down right so choose the start linux mint which is the first option here which is going to start the linux mint uh, on your virtual box so you can see the linux mint virtual machine has been started so now you can have the look and feel of uh, your linux mint virtual machine so you can see you can click here and then you can open the terminal from here and you can open the folders or files from here, right? But the Linux Mint installation is not yet finished, right? So this is just for the look and feel. But here you can see the install Linux Mint option with the disk icon. So just click on this uh, disk icon here, which is going to actually start the installation of Linux Mint on your virtual box. So because we haven't given any username or password to log into our Linux Mint, so these are the things we are going to do in the installation step. So first of all, you need to choose the language in the first step. I will choose English here and then click on continue here. And then you can choose the keyboard layout, right? So in different countries, uh, people use different keyboard layouts. So for example, I'm living in Germany, so I will choose the German keyboard layout. If you are not sure, you can also select detect keyboard layout from here, right? So let me choose the German language uh, keyboard layout from here. 
and then I'm going to choose the default German one. Once you have selected your keyboard layout, click on continue and then you have this option. So multimedia codecs, I'm going to click on this checkbox and then click on continue. And then you have this option. So here you can see this computer currently has no detected operating system. What would you like to do? Erase disk and install Linux Mint. And then second option is do something else. Just leave this option which says erase disk and install Linux Mint. It's not going to delete your host operating system. It's just the option for your virtual box. So it's not going to do anything to your Windows operating system or any other host operating system which you are using. It's just the step. So don't worry about erasing anything. Just leave it as it is and then click on install now. And then you have this option. So write the changes to the disk. If you continue, the changes listed below will be written to the disk. So I will click on continue here. And now you can choose the location, right? So this is for the time settings and date settings. So just choose the location which is nearer to your location. By default, Linux Mint is going to detect the nearest location. But if it's not selecting that, then you can choose it manually from here and then click on continue. Now at this point you need to give the username and password and the name of your computer. So the name I'm going to give here is code bind here and then the computer name will be uh, code bind hyphen virtual box because we are installing it on virtual box but generally I don't want this virtual box extension here so I just change the name to uh, the same name I have given here, right? So the username in my case is code bind. You can leave it as uh, what you want and then give the password. So I'm going to provide a very simple password. And then once again, I'm going to provide the password again. You might want to have the strong password. And then you have this option, require my password to log in and then click on continue and then the installation of Linux Mint will start. So you need to wait for a few uh, minutes at this point so that Linux Mint installation can be finished. And now after some time you can see the installation has been uh, completed and you will see this kind of window which says installation is finished. You can continue testing Linux Mint now, but until you restart the computer, any changes you make or documents you save will not be preserved. So we are going to restart our uh, Linux Mint. So just click on restart now button, which is going to restart your Linux Mint. And now it has been restarted. So I'm going to give my password, which I have given at the time of installation. So let me give that password again and then press enter. And now I can see my Linux Mint uh, operating system has been started on virtual box, right? For the first time you will see this kind of welcome window. It says welcome to Linux Mint and then you can uh, just go through this tour. But if you don't want to do that, just click on this cross and then you can start using Linux Mint. Now let me resize this Linux Mint. You can see when I resize my virtual box window, the desktop size for Linux Mint is not resizing. So to resolve this problem, you need to click on devices here and then click on insert guest edition CD image. So basically, in order to uh, have all the other features like resizing of this desktop uh, according to the size of your VirtualBox window, you need to install VirtualBox guest editions on your virtual machine. And this you can do by clicking on device and then click on insert guest editions CD image. And after a few seconds, you will see this kind of pop-up window, which says this medium contains software intended to be automatically started. 
just click on run here and then give your Linux Mint's password. So let me give my password here and then click on authenticate. And then it will start the installation of VirtualBox guest editions. So you just need to wait for a few seconds until this installation is finished. And once the installation of VirtualBox guest edition is finished, you will see this kind of message at the end, which says press return to close this window. So at this point, you just need to press enter key on your keyboard, which is going to close this window. And now you just need to restart your uh, Linux Mint once again. So click on this icon here, click on uh, this red button here, and then click on shut down, which is going to shut down your Linux Mint uh, virtual machine. And from the next time when you restart your Linux Mint, so just select Linux Mint here and then click on start. And when your Linux Mint uh, starts, you can see when you resize your VirtualBox window, the Linux Mint desktop also resizes accordingly, right? So let me just uh, give my password again. And then I can just maximize this and you can see the Linux Mint window also resizes according to the size of my desktop on my host machine, right? So now you can start using Linux Mint on your uh, VirtualBox on your host machine. In my case, the host machine is Windows 11. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video.